Yup. Yup, I literally just uploaded 2025 for Lum. And Red Hook went ahead and released a patch. I swear at the same exact minute after I uploaded it to the Nexus site. I swear it was the same exact minute. Doesn't that freaking figure? My obsession caused this great foulness. And it is shameful that I must rely upon you to set it right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Modern Darkness Dungeon. Yeah, Red Hook went around and... Uh, Red Hook went around. They went ahead and <laughs> uploaded another patch. I think it's 24149, I think is what it is. So, uh, it's just localization changes, so the most recent version of LUM will work with it. That said, I'll still upload another version of LUM anyway, because this way I'll indicate that the new version, 2026, will work with the most recent patch Red Hook has released. Uh, it's just localization changes, you can just reinstall 2025. I haven't made any changes other than verify it works and increment the LUM version number, but I'll still upload it. And, oh, anyway, actually, there is there is one difference, because I had just up also uploaded... A fix for the Fishman Shaman. Uh, their veteran and champion level versions still had stealth on them. I, th I thought I removed that, but it, I guess it slipped back in? Or maybe I forgot to remove it. So, Mikolaj, they now have stealth removed. Just as a heads up. Okay, what are we doing? What did we do last week? Oh, right, we went on a short Warren's mission, which was not very profitable. We got actually a, quite a few... Uh, portraits and crests back, but we didn't get a whole lot of money during that mission. Definitely not enough to make up for the fact that we have several people still completely stressed out. So this week, I'm thinking we're going to go and do the cove. We're going to do another small cove mission. I, pro I really should do a longer one. We could try to do a long mission, Tim, in the cove. What do we get here? Hmm. Hmm. Can we kill them quickly? Is the question. We might be able to do a long mission. Okay. I, th I think we'll give this a try. It's going to be a little tricky, but we'll still give it a try anyway. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually let Pennant go. He's got three non lock negative quirks. But that's a little too many. I don't think we're going to keep him. Now, he can't meditate. He won't drink. But these have additional stress. He's going to take 20% stress damage, and he'll only flagellate. So, we're going to we're gonna let him go. Those without the stomach for this place must move on. The reason for that is because we have another occultist on the stagecoach. And he also has Cove Explorer. He's also got Beast Hater. Nervous Bleeder won't really matter too much for him in the back. There's not too many things that will bleed him until we run into Crimson Court Guard creatures. Winded, uh, minus maybe three speed will be annoying, but he's a healer, so he can hopefully heal himself of that. So we'll take him along with us. I like his name. To fight the Abyss, one must know it. Grimlet. And he'll come with us on a long mission. Yep. Bring him along as well. So this will be our group. We're going for money. We're going for money. We definitely need it, which is why we're bringing the Antiquarian. We also will have two Cove Explorers for plus 40% scout chance. So hopefully that will, that will, well, allow us to scout a bunch of stuff. With the money we've got left, are any of these people level 2? I don't think they are. Level 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay, so we don't need to improve anyone's skills. Let's instead try treating some more stress. Dr. Ganola, you have a hundred stress. Can we do anything with the tavern? All manner of diversion and dalliance await those who cross the threshold with coin in hand. We'll increase the number of spots here. And I think we'll toss someone else in there, too. Oh, actually, let's toss Dr. Ganola in there first. Aww. Uh, Cecil, let's go ahead and put you there as well. While we're here, I think we'll increase the gambling hall. With enough ale, maybe they can be inured against the horrors below. And we'll increase the bar. 
Then we'll toss Yog Sasoth into the bar. Oh, darn it. I, that meant to be the gambling hall. It's too late now. That's a shame, Tim. That's a real shame. That was a mistake. Oh, well. All right, he's in there now. And we're Draken can pray. Can I increase it? We can. A little hope, however desperate, is never without worth. That was four, almost $5,000 spent just on stress recovery, but it'll be worth it, I think. All right, we're heading to the cove. Before we go there, let's give the sturdy bracer, and we'll give the tough ring to Grimbolt. He's going to take minus 15% damage, which means that he's not going to do much damage at all in this location. But really, we're, we have him here for the curse to make it, well, to make it stick a little easier. The plus 15% damage versus Eldritch will be countered by the tough ring, so he'll do, he'll do just uh, basically 3 through 5 against them in the back rank. And he's a healer. He's a pure healer with Demon's Pull. So, we'll give him a try. If I'm going to be going here, though, Timber Camping, can we prevent that nighttime ambush? No, we can't. Well, we'll just have to see how well it goes. Who is using my Crest of 1100? That's the only trinket you're going to find me moving about on my people. Who is using it? That's oh, not your destruction? I thought for sure it was you. Oh, Castilian is using it. Oh, no, Cast... Yeah, no. Castilian's been only on one adventure so far, so we're not renaming you yet. All right, so... Who's going to get this? Why don't we give it to... None of... Oh, plus extra stress damage. We'll give it to you, Vatabon. And why don't we give the Dodge Stone instead to North? Or we... Oh, actually, no. Let's give it to our front line. Okay. And why not? Let's do the long mission. Oh, medium mission. Let's do the medium mission, Tim. We get the coin thanks to the Antiquarian. We get an Anti-Venom because of the Men at Arms. Medicinal Herbs thanks to our Hellion. And two Torches because of our Occultist. We'll need a full stack of shovels in here. There generally will be two to three blockades, plus at least one probably clam or chest in the hallway, so we'll want one of them. We'll bring a full stack of torches with us. We don't need more than one anti-venom where we're going. I will bring quite a few medicinal herbs to counter traps and interact with various things. We don't need holy water. We shouldn't really need bandages. We'll just bring one with us. Two, st two stacks of food. And one single laudanum. I just bring a second laudanum as well. Wow, we have almost no money left. If this goes south, then we have to, we lose people, we have to, if we fail this, we'll probably just sell trinkets. The tough ring will, will get sold. I might end up even selling the phosphorus rounds. We'll, we can find them again. Can this group handle the collector? If we meet a collector. No. No, it can't, Tim. Not at all, actually. We'd have to get really lucky to kill a collector. We don't have any real damage. Not back rank damage. Hope you don't encounter him then. And go. Always have to worry about the collector showing up. Thankfully, he's a hallway battle. Maybe we, we'll get... Uh, there's not too many interlocking passages in the cove. It's mostly just straight, narrow tunnels. Oh, I hope we don't fight the Collector. That's gonna suck. The smell of rotting fish is almost unbearable. Ninety percent of all rooms. And we do have a loop up ahead. And no battles in the hallways. We are totally going up to this room to start. This way I don't have to go forward. We'll come back for that, so it'll be a little darker. And there's a trap in the first hallway. We at least see it. We will totally interact with this. 
might we could get another brackish tide pool for another cure. Let's uh, let's take this. We'll usually get some other supply items. Two torches, five hundred bucks, one thousand bucks, one thousand three hundred dollars. A full pack often attracts unwanted attention. That's the case at this time, narrator. You are correct. You are very correct. Another fish. Well, oh, antiquarian Tim. Antiquarian should be searching everything. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Ooh. There is a thunderstorm outside, everybody. Hopefully I don't lose power. Hello, monster. Who's got the best chance at this? Oh, okay. Whew. Too risky to have someone else make the attempt. We'll use our extra torches we've been picking up. Normally I just wait and camp. But I think this time we'll camp to recover life and heal stress damage. I want to keep the scout level high. Scout level high? Our chance to scout high. And we didn't bring any holy water. So the Elder Shrine's useless to us. We have to get lucky to get some holy water from this fight. Oh, there's two Pelagic Guardians in this. Oh, did I? I think we might see their new... Did I get their skill in? The new attempt I'm making to make it, s it so that they can't... Um, you don't want to... Yeah. Sorry, I'm babbling, everybody. I added something to them which will encourage you to not delay. But it's not really done yet. Oh, I hope they actually don't use it. I might have to take a break. We might have to call it. Uh, like, uh, take... I might have to exit out of the game and we come in again to fix it. We will see if... If he uses it, I know it's not 100% ready yet. We'll just have to deal with it. When it happens. Let's get our... Let's get our dodge up. Because it's going to be the front line that's going to be taking the hits. I don't have a guard. Only on the Antiquarian. Let's get our bolster going. Let's spend a round buffing everyone. And then... We probably won't bleed them. Let's try killing them. I forgot these guys actually inflicted bleed. I wasn't too worried about bleed normally. Um, let's heal. The tiny little bits. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. We will use a protect me to get his. Protection up. And then I think we will begin smashing. We're gonna take a lot of stress from this fight. Let's uh, clear the corpses and use festering vapors. This is the blight. That's a shame. This is going to take a long time, Tim. A long time, this fight. We'll stun them both. We can actually hit him now with our... Oh, game. I hate you. We're going to be here for a long time. Let's uh, pull him forward. We'll get our dodge up some more. Try killing him. Press disadvantage. Give them no quarter.
sure. Begin putting some damage on them. We will weaken. Just to get their accurate their accuracy and damage a little lower. Begin trying to heal some of that bleed damage she'll be taking. But never Let's heal that bleed. Yeah, we're just gonna slowly lose life at this rate on our front line, Tim. Can we stun him? Yes, we can, which will block the which will break the guard. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so frustrating. We'll do that again. To break the guard again. Uh, we need a lot more than two damage healed. Can we... Festering Vapors? Maybe get a Blight on him? It's not much damage. But it's something. Let's keep healing the tiny bits. He'll die when he activates. There you go. That's a decent heal. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Okay, everyone. I'm going to be right back. I need to fix the that guardian before he uses the skill which I know he's he'll use if he's all alone give me a few seconds I'll be right back all right everyone I think I think that'll do it we'll find out for sure if I get to a fight and he suddenly uses the ability when he's not supposed to or the game crashes instantly when it's his when it's a octo tanks turn let's move on more torches my goodness that's wonderful lots and lots of wow Lots of antiques. The light, the promise of safety. I was really hoping to find lots of this. I need some quirks purged. I don't care which of these is gone. Both are bad on a Hellion. So let's go ahead, uh, bad on anyone, and we'll use uh, medicinal herbs. Imposter Syndrome is gone. That's the non-locked one, so she can still steal stuff. But at least we don't have to worry about her, um, causing us to flee a fight. My god, that would be terrible. Oh, I don't like surprising the fishmen. These guys can get up to two turns thanks to their high speed. Let's start... By weakening this grouper. We will then use Protect Me on our men at arms. We will. Uh, I can't reach this one. Let's use Bolster for more dodge and speed. And we might get a lucky kill on this one.
fishes do a lot of nasty stuff. Let's heal. Ugh, one point of damage. Let's stun this one. Oh, guys, this is bad. Uh, let's heal. No, let's... Ah. Uh. Let's protect me. On our Hellion. Get her some more dodge and, pr and prod. And she'll try killing that one. Oh, so much for all that dodge. Not helping her at all. Oh, we may not win this fight. This is bad. This is really bad. That surprise did not help us. Yeah, we're just getting the snot kicked out of us. Try to weaken them so that we can focus on a different one instead. We will heal a tiny... Uh, no. Let's get our dodge up instead. A time to perform beyond one's limits. Try to break that guard. Destroyed. Let's heal. Come on, Grimmauld. You haven't healed that. You've only healed one eight hit point so far. All right, good. Thank you. Let's, uh, bolster. Keep our dodge high. We will then heal a little more. And bleed him again, if we're lucky. We'll heal that bleed with an adrenaline rush. We will... Uh... Oh, what to do? Let's stun him. Or not. We will need to heal. Or festering vapors. Let's clear that corpse. Oh, five damage and the bleed again. We have to keep healing that bleed. Begin killing the shaman. We'll heal even more and weaken this guy so they can counteract his buff. We will heal our poor Hellion. Good. Good heals, Grimmauld. Thank you. Try to stun it again. Wow! Not working today. Guys, we really need you to hit. Like, we really need you to hit. Stun them both. Break that guard. Thankfully, he stops the delaying mechanic. So I'm not going to be punished for doing what I'm doing. Let's heal a hit point. Okay, we'll get a chance to see if it works. Oh, no, it didn't work. He used the ability, but he didn't gain the buff. Okay, so I'll tweak it. 
So what happens is if he's the only one left, he uses an ability called Final Cestus. This is supposed to give him a buff, which is plus 20% to crit, plus 10 accuracy, but minus 25 prot. And it stacks. So he'll keep using Final Cestus and critting you over and over eventually until you kill him. So that's my that's my counter for uh for delaying. Compassion is a rarity in the fever. I'll be adding something like that to all the creatures which uh well really it's just the single the single standing ones, so the guardian and the skeletal defender will be gaining an ability like that to to make it so that you're not grinding through him at the very end here. But also so that you don't feel like you're um I want to encourage you not to delay, and also make him less grindy. Otherwise, you can't help but delay and recover all your hit points. We, we might as well heal. And we'll kill him with you. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them. food, some busts, another trinket, and I don't need the citrine, I guess. Yeah, we don't need the citrine. We'll leave it. I didn't bring any keys with me. None. Zero keys. Oh, if this is the collector, we're doomed. I don't want to come back here, so we're going to move forward to the next room. That means we're going to open this up and see what's in it. A fortune waiting to be spent. Now that is a fortune. It's a small fortune, but it is a fortune. I'm not sure he'll use Ambush. I don't think it's in his AI file, but it'll, this will give us a chance to find out, I suppose. Let's start by giving us a little bit more dodge. Yeah, it's, it's currently not in his AI. I took it out so I could uh, take a peek at it, try to fix it up a little bit. Why don't we just begin working on the big guy? Woo! Always glad with that, misses. Let's pull him forward. And kill him. Or almost kill him. Rush Shot does not move him back in Lum. I never liked the idea when they get you give him that ability for free. He should have a different ability that moves him back. Ambush will move him back one spot and stealth him, but he doesn't get a free shot on you. Um... Do I want to kill him? I kind of like him where he is. We'll leave him where he is. Let's heal. And I think we'll weakening curse the cutthroat. No, we won't. Should have brought more bandages, Tim, than one. <laughs> Oh, oh, guys, you're missing a lot of hits. This is really bad. Just to, just to let you know, we need you to do a lot better than you're currently doing. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Try to get that debuff on him. I need that damage decrease. Quickens. Heal yourself, North. Please don't die on me. Please don't die on me. Well, I'll take 
taking so much damage. We need to heal a tiny bit if possible. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. I can wait one round. We'll, we'll delay once. We'll kill him this round. Oh! <laughs> I didn't want to. I actually want to kill him with you. I will heal our man at arms a tiny bit. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Well, there's a key. And some blood, but I don't need them at the moment. We could drop the jade coin. We probably won't get a museum bag here. I don't really need either of them, though. We'll just leave those here. We have another coral. Who else needs some trinkets gone? Uh, trinkets. Some quirks healed. Let's have you heal. Demonomania. Wonderful. Um, uh, let's see if we get the scout chance. We still have a, like, um, let's think here. It was a 40 plus 25? It was a 65% chance to scout. Now it's down to about a 50. Let's see if we get a scout. We'll camp in that room. I think we can take a feast. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. I'm talking too much. A moment of respite. A chance to steal oneself against the coming horrors. Okay, we needed that heal. We're not looking too bad stress-wise, despite all the hits we were taking. What do we want to take for abilities? We don't need Revel. I don't have the medicinal herbs to cure it. Let's use weapons prac- Oh, wow. These are actually both good. Let's use weapons practice on our Hellion. And I think we'll use instruction on our occultist. The speed is useful because we can, we can debuff something with him fast. And dodge is good because I don't want my backline taking too many hits. Let's use the strange powders on our man-at-arms. Though all those resistances will come in handy here, especially the bleed. We could gain a bunch of buffs on our cultist, and in return, everyone else takes a little more stress damage. I don't think we'll do that. Let's let's resupply. A f oh, we actually probably should use a wound care. Do we have another one of those? We do. Soothed. Sedated. Oh, hello. <laughs> Narrator, you're not supposed to talk during this. Thank you. We could definitely have used one of them. Oh, we could have actually reveled after all. Well, we haven't got Nighttime Ambush yet in this uh, playlist. Let's see if this estate manages to get its first one in this location. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. No scout. We can probably afford to skip two rooms. We're gonna go out to the west. So let's go north first to see what's there. No curio. Probably should have healed bad gambler, Tim. She's gonna rob something eventually from you. Oh, you're gonna be trapped on this hallway. I know it. Do it. 
ancient traps lie in wait, unsprung and thirsting yep. for blood. Yep. You just know. You just know when you're going to get one of them. I want the high scout chance. We might have a secret room in this place. Plus, we have a level zero. There's no reason to risk venturing in low light levels. Hello, guys. Okay, let's get our dodge up to start. We'll then... Let's pull her forward. Try killing her? Eradicated. Ha-ha! Inspiration and try st and stun hitting the grouper. Darn it! We're not getting lucky with those stuns and moves at all today. Woo! Oh, I don't like seeing that on him. All that plus dodge didn't help at all. Let's debuff the grouper. I want to counteract his bonus. Um, I'll let that bleed stay. And we'll try killing this one. The front one? No luck. Darn, I couldn't even go before he went. And we're bleeding again. Let's festering vapors him. No luck, wow. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. We will mark this guy again to put more debuff on him. We'll heal that bleed now. We'll heal the front rank a tiny bit. And we'll begin working. Working the body. No, we won't. <laughs> let's heal. Oh, actually, no. Let's, uh... Let's pull the shaman forward. Kill it. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. We will heal our Hellion slightly. Pull this guy forward. Let's mark him again. A decisive bubbly. Keep that accuracy penalty on him. Decimated. There you go, Vadabon. This expedition at least promises success. It's a lot of stuff. That's a shame. I just don't have room for it. We could drop the bandage, but I think it might come in useful. We did get a scout. Wow, there's not a lot of battles up ahead. We'll need a shovel if I want to go up this way, and I do. We'll need a shovel for this as well. Do I drop the jade coin, Tim? Or the bandage? We'll drop the bandage. Do I want money or the crests? We could use both, but I think I need the money more. And we'll leave the rest, we'll leave the crests here. Let's use a shovel. Plus four dodge, we'll take it. A boon at last, indeed. Now, hey, good time to say that quote. Sagvani. Okay. 
Time to move! <laughs> Nothing in there for me to take! I s we all noticed you do it! Another mariner? Another misfortune. All of us noticed you do it. I just would like to point that out. All of us. Ah, it's empty crates. Who puts empty crates into place like this? No! No, Sagwani, no! A handsome reward for a task well performed. Should have purged that quirk, Tim. You had the chance, and you didn't take it. Holy traps, there's a lot of them. Not a lot of battles up ahead, though. I like that. Sagvani, you got the most stress and the highest disarm chance. And of course, you get hit by it. Carelessness will find no clemency in this place. Purge it, at least the effect off of you. Down to two torches. We'll get rid of those next, I think. Wow, I like this dungeon. Hey! I like seeing even more quirk removal. There goes Bad Gambler. There you go. All your debts are now taken care of. You just rubbed your face up against some coral. the last room we absolutely have to check everyone please be the lump trinket be the lump thing torches oh, I, I, I shouldn't complain it's useful it'll let us go another uh, into another room no scout let's eat some food do we do another fight? I, th I think we can. If it's the Collector, we'll just flee immediately. We are not a match for the Collector. Not a Collector. Oh, look at these two out for a, a nice stroll in the cove with their pet. Let's use a Festering Vapors. Ah. I didn't have to do that then. Uh-oh. Woo! Six dodge! Eighteen dodge. Keep those debuffs going on them. Bonnie, very nice. Darn it! Heal. We'll play active healer role, or rather preventive healer, by constantly putting minus accuracy on him. Annihilated. Well done. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Why not? We'll walk up. We got the food. We can afford a food check. And then hopefully we get a scout for the final hallway. And if there's anything down there, we'll check it out. Otherwise, we're done. Do I feel like another fight? We should. We have space, and we need the stuff. Bit of a rough one. Immediately start by dragging him forward. Now, if he had ambush, he'd have used it. Gone back a space behind this guy and cloaked himself. 
I'll, I'll get that working the next time we fight this group. Get her dodge up in preparation for that whip. Immediately killed their big damage dealer. And maybe we'll kill him before he goes next round. Debuff him. Oh, let's hope to get his accuracy down. Well struck. We'll keep buffing our dodge. And begin working on him. Ah, darn it. A few bleeds, but we'll be okay. Holy crit, Seguani. Very nice. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. And the last thing for us to check. Oh, and a food check? And a food check? And a food check? A food check? No food check. <laughs> Everyone had to say they needed bandages first. All right, we're gonna put out the torchlight. Actually, darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. And we're done, everyone. Quest complete. We will find all manner of great and terrible things in this watery tomb. Woo! Seventeen thousand dollars. We really needed those gold pieces. And for experience, congratulations, North. I hit level two. Fuck, bought Vaubon, Vaubudon. Welcome aboard, Carbon Unit Six. We'll finally name you. I don't think I have a Hellion. Check my. If someone wants to be a Hellion, I do not. Nor a cultist, but our cultist just did one mission successfully. Oh, Gambler, hello. Balance is nice on a man-at-arms. And second wind, that's useless on you, North. <laughs> I don't care about 10% damage if you're hurt. I guess I did use Festering Vapors a lot. You got a lot better swinging that uh, sensor around. A fresh oh, come on. A sanguine memory to me. So that's not working. The cooldown isn't functioning properly again. Red Hook must have changed it. Uh, no, they didn't. It's probably just a bug on my part. I'll fix that again. It should not happen every week, otherwise you never see any other town events. Cecil Gage and Pleasure of the Flesh recovered 73 stress. Oh, and I can finally name Cecil, I think, right? Has he been on two adventures? Yes, I think he has. So we will name him. Al Alistair... Garkwin. Oh, I can't fit all that in there, unfortunately, Nathaniel. So that's as far as I can get. It's close. It'll have to do. There's just not enough room. <laughs> not enough room on the, uh, on the slot. And since you survived, we'll rename you Carbon Units. Oh, Magnus! Magnus, you wanted to name Magnus for this guy. Magnus. Okay. Vulu, next time we take Bertrand out, if I decide to keep her, we'll name Bertrand after. Uh, was it Fizzlebang? Fizzlebang. And Xylum, we still need a Kimpy here. I got rid of both of my early Shield Breakers. Maybe we were lucky and have one on the stagecoach? We do! Oh, but I have no space! Can I increase the roster? But we can increase the roster size to fix that. So we'll be... Oh! Oh, I don't care about that. Ooh, Weaponsmith on you. Alright, we'll, we'll grab our, our Shield Breaker then next time. I really need an Arbalist or a Musketeer, though. This, this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> really, we have no, we have no real back rank damage classes with us, except for Valkia and Malice. So that's a bit awkward. 
Oh, and do I want to equip the Punishment's Hood? I think we should. All right, everyone. Well, that will do it for us. Thank you all for watching, and I will see everyone in the next one. Take care, everyone.